Good morning everyone, student and family. We pray that all is well with all of you. Always keep the good spirit, stay healthy, and enjoy home learning together with your parents. And don't forget to be a blessing at home. And so far, everybody does a great job. Let us start our day with listening what God say to us. Let's do our Bible pledge first. Come on, prepare your Bible. Salut. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its word in my heart that I might not sin against God. Now. I can be what the Bible says I can be. I can do what the Bible says I can do. And I can have what the Bible says I can have. I declare it. I believe it. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I am destined to be blessed when I walk the word of God. You can tell to your parents or your siblings or family around you. Say, you are Destined to be blessed when you walk the word of God. Amen. Ah, let's open our Bible in Matthew 13 verse 23. One more time. Matthew 13 verse 23. Let's read together. One, two, three. But... The one who receives the seed that fell on good soil is the man who hears the word and understands it. He produced a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Amen. Okay, primary. Have you ever lived on a farm? Planted a garden? Uh, maybe some of you may have planted a garden. Or watch people plant a garden? Yeah, there is a lot of work involved in the planting and caring for a garden. You need a soil to break up the ground and a rake to remove the rocks and keep the soil smooth. You need a hoe to chop down the weeds that might try to take over your garden. You will need some fertilizer. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing that you will need. Can you guys, what is? Yeah, the seed. You cannot have a garden without seeds. Now we have everything we need to produce a great crop of fruits and vegetables. Now, let's see this video. Are you ready? Let's check it out. One day, a farmer went out to sow some seeds. As he walked along, he threw the seeds wherever he went. Each seed was the same, bright and green and full of the potential for life. Some of the seeds fell on stony ground. There was nowhere for their roots to grow. They just sat there. Birds spotted the seeds from the air. They flew down and ate them up. Some seeds fell on rocky places, where there wasn't much soil. They quickly grew at first, but the soil was shallow. And when the sun came up, they withered and died, because they had no root.
some other seeds fell among thorns. The seeds started to grow, but the thorns grew bigger, and they choked the new plants, so they didn't produce any crop. They just disappeared. But other seeds fell on good soil. They grew and grew, strong. And bright, and the life in the seeds bore an amazing crop. Some with thirty grains, some sixty, and some even a hundred grains of corn. Okay, primary students, do you think Jesus was really trying to teach people how to plant a garden? No, the story has a much deeper meaning. In story, the seed represents the word of God, and the soil represents the people who hear the word. Many times, people hear the word of God, but they don't understand it. That's like the seed. On the footpath, the evil one comes and take away the seed that has been planted in their heart before it has the opportunity to grow in their life. The seed that fell on rocky soil represents those who hear the word and receive it. With great joy, but when the newness wears off and the excitement fades, they drift away because they don't have deep roots. The seed that fell among the weeds represents people who hear God's word and believe what it says, but. Soon the message is crowded out by the worries of life and the desire to get more stuff. If seed is planted in a branch of weeds, the weeds will soon take over. A person who hears God's words tries to understand what it says, but Put it into practice in their daily life is like good soil. In good soil, the seed takes roots and grows up and produces a plentiful harvest. That is the kind of soil that Jesus wants us to be. What kind of soil are you? Let's pray. Hands together and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, we want to be like the good soil. Help us to listen to God's word and put it into practice in our daily life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We have the mind of Christ, and all our steps are according to the mind of Christ. Shalom. Okay, primary. Stay healthy. Stay happy and bye bye. God bless you. Bye.